Joe Lasky's horse, Trojan, is lame. So Joe's had to call in Daphne Peacock, the vet. This may hurt a bit. <laughs> Try and hold him steady, Fee. I am. Well, that Trojan, be brave. <laughs> ah! <laughs> a rusty nail. No wonder it was painful. <laughs> Pigs are making a racket? Yes, they starving hungry. I run out of food. No food, but... Oh, it's okay. I got big load coming today. Josh make special delivery. Wilton Cashmore's just installed a new burglar alarm. Oh, dear. I expect you're dying to know how it works, Mrs. Kelly. No, actually... Well, it's like this. The whole house is now a network of super-sensitive photoelectric beams. So, if, in the dead of night, a burglar were to try and... Oh, oh, oh. Good day. Switch it off! What? How do you switch it off? Uh, oh, I don't know! <laughs> Don't eat so fast or you'll get indigestion. Come on, my beauty. I need you for get pig food. Oh, nearly time to meet Josh. Oh, no. Is something wrong, Mr. Lasky? Blinking is something wrong. I got big problem. Where's Joe? He said he'd be waiting on the towpath. Look, there he is. Hey, he's pushing a brown. Hello! Oh, Josh, I got no diesel for tractor to move pig feed. That's no problem. I always keep a spare can on board. No, Josh, I got no money for pay you. I, I spent it all on pig food. Well, you can have it. No. I put it all on the pram and push it to the farm. Fair enough. At least, let us give you a hand, eh? OK, if you like. <coughs> Don't worry, Mr. Cashmore. It's probably what we experts call a shortened circular. I don't care what it is. Just shut it up. Right, yeah. Leave it to me, Mr. Cashmore. <coughs> <coughs> Joe, I'm done in. Do you want them inside? No. I put in barn tomorrow. <laughs> After Mad Jack's been, you mean? Who's Mad Jack? <laughs> oh, he's just someone. What comes haunt sometimes. You mean he's a spook? You mean here? Well, you see. Come here, come here. A hundred years ago, Mad Jack, he was a robber come to steal from canal boats. He look for somewhere hide his booty, and he find this arm. <gasps> they say he come at midnight on 13th June. Gosh. 13th of June? That's tonight. Yes. Midnight, though. Bet you I dare. 
We do rest in morning, eh? Okay, Joe. Come on, Ravi. Better get you home before it gets dark. Go on, ask him. Uh, Mr. Lasky, uh, can we stay the night? Oh, that Joe Lasky's a stubborn old sausage, Fairport. If he'd have let me put some diesel in his tractor, we'd have been finished and gone by now. Come on, Fiona. It's nearly midnight. Ghost-busting time. Don't be silly, Ravi. Go on, then. What was that? Just an owl. Uh, Fiona, perhaps this isn't a very good idea. You thought of it. I know, but I, I'm After not... you, Ghostbuster. We need to find somewhere to hide. The hayloft. Look, there's a ladder. <coughs> Where do you think you're going? Huh? Uh, well, I was just going to uh, close the door. Oh, you wimp. Come. Fiona, are you scared? Of course I'm not. I am. Can we go back now? Only if you admit there are no such things as ghosts. All right. Say it then. Say, I admit there are no such things as... Diesel in Mr. Lasky's tractor. So he could get the pig food. Do you understand any of this, Trojan? It's all beyond me. Morning, Daphne. They are Joe. All done in one go. I think they very brave children. Josh could have been ghost of Mad Jack. No, he couldn't. There's no such thing as a ghost. Is there, Fiona? Some people live in the country Some people live in the city or town Some people live at the top of the tower But some people live much nearer the ground The Joshua Jones Can live wherever he goes Down by the wallside Or any place the water flows la, la, Some people work in an office Some people like to work 
It's fruit picking time down at the lock, and Admirable Carrier has a problem. Oh, uh, yes. Just as I thought. The best plums are always up aloft. Nothing for it. I shall have to use my trusty stepladder. Right. Place firmly on the deck and reach out the yard arm. Oh, oh, oh. shiver me stepladders. Climbing the rigging is a job for young legs. Ravi, report to your captain immediately. Sorry, Bapu, I'm an Ori. Oh, you are always in a hurry when I need your oh, 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 help. Hmm. Yeah, this old bedstead will make good new gate, I think. Ah, Mr. Lasky! Oh. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, bye, Ravi. <laughs> Are you sure you're not coming up to Shannon's for a sausage booty? No, not today, Sparrow. I've got some sandwiches. And for afters, Admirable Carrier has given me a nice bag of plums. I'm a sucker for a freshly picked plum. <coughs> Try one. Josh? This plum's an onion. Oh, flipping egg. I've picked up the wrong bag. I must have left the plums back at the lock. Well, no pudding for us today, Fairport. Ooh. Why are there so many buttons? Mr. Cashmore, it looks a bit complicated. Of course it's complicated. What you have there is the very latest in domestic cleaning technology. Well, what do you think? I think I preferred my old one. No, I mean me. A new image. Oh, Mr. Cashmore, I've just spent the last 40 minutes ironing your grey suit. <sighs> what? These old things? My dear Mrs. Carrier, Fiona and I have been invited to Mr. Bigot's annual presentation dinner, and I've been privileged to write his speech for the occasion. I couldn't be seen wearing these... these... rags. Throw them away! Oh, why do I bother? Joshua, I've got something for you. You forgot your plums. Hear that, Fairport? Oh, Ravi, you're a good one. There's nothing I like better than a nice squashed plum. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Josh. You could do with a saddlebag. Oh, well, better find some way to dispose of this lot. Ah. Cashmore's dustbin will do fine. Struth, the stuff he chokes out. And this evening, we at Bigot Industries are proud to present... This has just arrived for you. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Look at that. Look at that, Mrs K, just look at that. The very latest in business equipment technology. It's a briefcase. But not an ordinary briefcase. Watch this. One, six, one, three, two, nine, seven. <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> it's impressive, isn't it? <laughs> what if you forget the number? Mrs Carrier, you are so unimaginative. It's not a number. It's a secret code. And it's filed away in here. In that case, I think I'd better take care of this. Will you be needing me any more today, Mr. Cashmore? No, I don't need you, Mrs. Carrier. And I won't be needing this, neither. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with half this stuff. Phew, struth. Well, well. <laughs> Reduced to scavenging in rubbish now, are we, Jones? Of nothing to be ashamed of. 
big as carpet shoes as can they. So feel free, feel free. <laughs> Help yourself. Right, Ravi. You heard what the man said. Now you take this briefcase. I'll bring the vacuum cleaner. What for? Oh, I'll think of something. I've bought you a beautiful new dress, my petal. It's on the bed. Hurry along now. We've got to be there by 5.30. Wilton Cashmore speaking. Oh, hello, Mr. Bigot. Yes, all prepared. But I've got your speech here. I'll just read you the opening paragraph. It's rather good. 1916437. Uh, won't be a moment, Mr. Bigot. 1916734. Daddy, you can't expect me to wear this. 1626367. Daddy? Oh, you stupid imbecile. The phone's over there. What? Oh, oh. No, no, Mr. Bigot, not you. That's not your speech. Yes, 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 of course. Oh. Mrs. Carrier, she knows the number. In the British Navy, we had to learn to adapt. So, raise bucket on one stick, knock branch with the other, and the plums with... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, plums. This is another Jolaski first-class job. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> I'll put you that dress and you wear it, Fiona. I'm not having you going to a... Hey, oh, that's all I want. What's gonna do to it this time? I think you got engine trouble. But you very lucky man, because I'm very good at fixed engines. No type of that, Lasky. Give me a tow. Use the tractor. You shouldn't try those sorts of tricks at your age, Bapuji. You should let somebody help you. Oh, like who? Ravi, of course. Oh, really? Come on, you fool, get a move on. That sounds like Mr. Cashmore. Faster, man, faster. This is a tractor, Mr. Cashmore, not blooming racing car. Oh, it is. Oh, Mrs. Carrier, I need you. The darn thing won't open. Oh, Mr. Cashmore, will you ever learn? Please. Oh, very well. One, six, one, three, two, nine, seven. Oh, joy. Oh, you're a genius. Oh, you're an angel. Oh, my baby. Oh, my son. Sainted Ant, the time, it's ten past five. How am I going to get the speech to Mr. Bigot by half past? Perhaps you'd care to take advantage of the Ravi Carrier Mountain Bike Messenger Service. But, but, that's my old attache. Carrier, carrier, at your service. Don't worry, nothing to be ashamed of. Beggars can't be choosers. Can they, Mr. Cashmore? Mr. Cashmore's vacuum cleaner. Well, I'll be scuppered. Joshua Jones, you are a genius. No, not really. It's just that I'm a sucker for a fresh pink plum. Some people live in the country. Some people live in the city or town. Some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua
Ravi and Josh are heading out of Grimm's pool, loaded up with rubbish. They're just passing Sharon's cafe. Just do this bit, or we can get going. Told you it wouldn't take long, Sha. Yeah, you're a proper little whirlwind, aren't you? Okay, Ravi. What's all this? Thinking of joining the circus? Oh, hiya, Josh. Now he's redecorating. What do you think at colour scheme? Yes, um. Well, uh, if you like pink, it's uh, it's very attractive. See, sure, he likes it. What did I tell you? It's always worth taking care of your external appearances. Are you right? Yeah, let's get going. Cashmore's lending Spanner the speedboat. We are going for a picnic. Wilton Cashmore's lending Spanner. Lending without knowing, if you get me drift. What a pair, eh, Ravi? Oh, Spanner, you are a wonder! <laughs> You're looking a lot better today, aren't you? And that's thanks to Daphne. <coughs> Daphne Peacock Veterinary Centre. Oh, hello, Mr Lasky. Tangled round its legs. Oh dear. By the canal tunnel. Yes, yes, I know what you mean. We're on our way. Come on, Fee. Emergency. Got to go now. It's really good being a vet, isn't it, Daphne? Always something exciting happening. Yes, I think I might be one when I grow up. Fiona. Actually, I know quite a bit about nature. Birds and flowers and sea lions and whales. Fiona. Yes, Daphne. Put a sock in it. Bigot Industries owns everything in Grimspool, including Wilton Cashmore, Mr. Bigot's right hand man. Yes, Mr. Bigot. Oh, everything is under control. Uh, the sales reports. Oh, Mr. Bigot, um, uh, I'll have them to you by this afternoon. How is Mrs. Bigot? Oh, I, I don't know if it's not one thing, it's another. Blue file, blue file, where did I put it? Mrs. K, what have I done with the blue file? Oh, goodness me, executive stress. I don't know, Mr. Cashmore. What should I do with these papers? What? Oh, throw them out. Lovely day, Mr. Cashmore. We are paying you to ship rubbish, Jones, not run a pleasure cruise. Long-haired hippie. Oh, come on, Fiona. Get a grip. I'm trying. It keeps reading. <coughs> Fiona, vets don't drop their patients. <coughs> I was trying not to hurt it, poor thing. Mama. What's that noise? It's <laughs> <Not so> bad. <coughs> you great, ignorant oafs. This is a very sick duck. You could have drowned it. <coughs> Where the devil's it got to? Is this the blue file you were looking for? Oh, Mrs. K, where was it? It was with the papers you told me to throw out. Oh, uh, oversight. <laughs> Cashmore? Yes? What? The packing machine? Oh, don't touch anything, Frank. I'll come straight away. Mrs. Carrier, I wonder if you'd do me a little favour. Mr. Bigot is going to ring at four. It's very, very important that he has this information. Would you mind? Hmm? Oh, very well. <sighs> I love 
beauty. It's so beautiful. Oh, treasure. What are you doing? I'm writing you a poem. <laughs> oh, you know it. Oh, blooming am. Listen to this. Well, go on, then. <clears throat> Violets are red. Roses are blue. But no flowers are half as beautiful as what you are. Tulip. Oh, that's really lovely. I haven't finished oh, yet. Sorry. Tulips are yellow. Bluebells are blue. Cowslips are pretty. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh, oh, no! Spanner, you stupid twit. <sighs> Take me home. Take me home now. <sighs> There now, that feels better, doesn't it? <coughs> you see that? Fishing line. Horrible stuff. Don't go near it in future, right? <coughs> Off you go. And take it easy for a few days. Hey, Fairport. Can you hear something? <coughs> Quick, take cover and keep your heads down. Oh, are you all right? <coughs> Josh, look over there. What is it, Ravi? Oh, <laughs> Joshua Jones, don't you dare say anything. Hey, Fiona's dad will go spare when he finds out we've turned back to Grim's pool. Oh, blow Cashmore. Can't leave a soaked at the skin, can we? You all right down there, Fiona? Yes, Josh. Poor Miss Peacock, too. Don't worry about Daphne. She's a vet. Actually, I'm going to be a vet when yes, I grow up. Yes, Fiona, I think you might have told us that. Hey, up. Right, you two. Let's have some action. Fiona, you take the helm. Ravi, help me get that tarpaulin lashed down before it's too late. Too late for what? Just do it. I don't know why he's getting so het up. Ah! Josh! Come on, Ravi. Get hold of it. I can't reach. Gotcha. Mr. Cashmore's residence, his cleaner, uh, secretary speaking, oh, Mr. Bigot. Oh, yes. I've been asked to give you a message. The message reads, violets are red, roses are blue. Mrs. But Kay, no what an... Give, give it here. Give it here. Uh, Mr. Bigot, uh, no, 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 Mr. Bigot. She, she meant blue files, not blue roses. <laughs> no, let me explain. Josh knows all about nature. He can tell the weather by looking at the clouds and birds and things. I bet that's what he did. I bet you're right. Josh, how did you know it was going to get windy? Well, simple, really, Fiona. Heard the weather forecast on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Sharon, your countryside's not like your parks. What have park keepers to clean up animals' doings? It's quite... <gasps> Oh, my giddy aunt! What stupid, brainless twits done that? Some people live in the country Some people live in the city or town Some people live at the top of the tower But some people live much nearer the ground The Joshua Jones Can live wherever he goes Down by the wallside Or any place the water
Josh has been making a raft for Ravi. <laughs> Surprising what you can do with an old inner tube. What do you think? It's stunning, Josh. Thanks. Look, I've tied the plug on with a bit of cord. So you won't lose it, see? Yeah, yeah, great. Can I try it out now? Of course you can. Spanner's not very happy with Sharon's cooking today. There's something missing. The thing is, sure, fish and chips in the same without fish. I mean, it's just like, well, chips. I know that, Treasure. But I haven't had time to go to fish shop. What with me night classes in photography. <sighs> I'm using special black and white film, all arty. I'll call that one. Plate of chips. You don't have to go to fish shop. You're looking at one of the most expert anglers in Grimm's Pool. Keep them warm. I'll go get me rod. I'll call this one plate of chips with sauce bottle. And me, fishing expert. Hey, Josh, it's dead steady. I could go miles in this. Don't forget your pedal. Oh, thanks, Josh. There you go. Oh, and Ravi, don't do anything daft. Don't worry, I won't. Got me own boat now, fair for. Bon voyage, and good luck to all who sail in her. Bye. Ah, still no sign of Spanner. How am I supposed to get Delilah loaded and off? Hey, up. What's this? Dear Josh, I've gone up Sharon's to get me strength up. Spanner. Oh, God, he's scoffing again, Fairport. Hello, Spanner. What are you doing? Fishing. What's it look like? But you won't catch any fish there. It's too full of oil and stuff. What about sardines? Sardines? Yeah. You always get them in oil, don't you? Oh, Spanner. Hey, Fiona. Look at me. Wow. Where did you get that from? Josh made it. Brill, isn't it? Do you want to go? There's room for two. Mm, yes, please. Here you are. It's all right. I can manage. Oh, oh steady. Don't go rock it. You all right? Of course I am. Where are we going? Uh, the place where evil pirates and sea dogs hang out. Where's that? Sharon's Cafe. <laughs> happy birthday, Mr. Bigot. I do hope you have a very happy birthday. <laughs> there, Mrs. Carrier. What do you think? I'm sure Mr. Bigot will be very pleased. <sighs> hey, oh, I've got a bite. Oh, it's a big one and all. Hey, wait till Shah sees this. I shall deliver it personally, by hand. So that's how you want to play it, eh? What the devil's going on up there? Stand aside, Mrs. Carrier. <sighs> 
Right. Well, don't think you can get away from me. I've got you hooked and you stained. Oh, 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 oh! Spanner, what's all the racket about? Oh, you're supposed to be loading up. I've just caught a whale. Oh, oh. Uh, least I think I did. Just get on and do it. Yes, Mr. Cashmore. Just when they were starting to bite. Talk about a monster. It were enormous. I'm not kidding, Sharp. You should have seen it. It would have made a great photo opportunity. Oh, yeah. It were this big. <laughs> cool. Almost as big as his head. <laughs> <coughs> I thought I told you to... Uh, 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 I was just going, Mr Cashmore. Ooh. He was just telling us about this fish where he nearly caught. <sighs> what? Spanner? <laughs> he couldn't catch a cold. Daddy's honorary president of the Grimspool Angling Society. Are you really, Mr Cashmore? I most certainly am. <laughs> I'll give you a demonstration of real fishing technique. It's all in the casting, you see. Come along, come along. Pay attention, you two. Now, you should place your feet firmly apart. Hands flexible, but relaxed. Make the backward action so, then the forward whipping action so. it could have been an enormous pilchard or even a holy mackerel oh Ruth look at that oh. Oh, please. <laughs> don't just stand there you dumb clucks fish me out hurry up oh, I'll give you my 22 carat gold fishing rod and the hooks oh. Oh, nothing else for it, I suppose. Hang on, Josh. Leave this one to me. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, no! <gasps> Daddy! Daddy, are you all right? Oh, Daddy! Hold it there, Mr Cashmore. Say cheese! Lovely fish, this, Josh. <laughs> you didn't catch that round here. Bloomy did. Caught a Buster Bates fish shop. <laughs> hey, everybody! Come and see me photos. This is the best one. I'm going to put it in for the night school exhibition. Oh, no. I shall call it Spanner Wilkins. <laughs> Makes monster catch. <laughs> some people live in the country, some people live in the city or town, some people live at the top of the tower, but some people live much nearer the ground. The Joshua Jones can live wherever he goes, down by the wallside, or any place the water flows. La, 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 la
Joshua Jones is on his way to Wilton Cashmore's, loaded up with paving stones, and he's running late. Oh, all secure, Joshua. Full ahead. Oh, that is unless you'd like to join me for a cup of real Indian tea. Oh, no. Sorry, Admiral, I can't. Cash will be waiting for this lot. Oh, everybody always full steam ahead nowadays. Perhaps I'll have one on the way back. Oh, jolly good. Oh, goodness! Oh, oil! Hey, Joshua! You're losing oil! Oh, carry on like that and he'll be scuppered. Nothing for it. Have to mend the lifeboat. Isn't he gorgeous? Yeah, brill. Has he got deadly poisonous fangs? Don't <laughs> be silly, Rabbi. Grass snakes are quite harmless, aren't they, Daphne? That's correct, Fiona. Oh, good. That'll be Mr. Lasky come to mow the lawn. Mm. Oh, he's quite warm. Morning, Mr. Lasky. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Miss Peacock. I had good idea. <laughs> Oh, Trojan. My mower not working, so I bring Trojan. He eat off long grass in <laughs> no time. Here you are. You try holding him. No, I don't want to. He's not slimy. Rabbit, Rabbit, take it away. <laughs> oh, come on, Trojan. Look at all this lovely long grass. <laughs> no way. You can lead a horse to water, Mr. Lasky. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, ah! oh, excuse me, Mr. Lasky. What in heaven's name is going on? Rabbi was being stupid. He's dropped the snake on the floor. Snake? Only a grass snake. Oh. I wonder where the wee thing's got to. I, I, I think it went under here. Holy Polony! Hey, Trojan! You come back! Miss Peacock's grass not that bad! Come on! We can catch him! Everybody to the car! Hurry up, Rabbi! <gasps> oh, he's all right! I found him! <laughs> Seatbelt on, Chuck away! Is an idle technical operation. <laughs> it's not something you can just pick up overnight. I had to go to day release to get where I am, just to learn the basics. Now, your concrete base has to be what uh, we building experts call dead flat. <laughs> Always like to get stuck into your work, do you, treasure? <laughs> Oh, 
Too? No, Joshua. Engine losing oil. Got to warn him. What? Leave it to me, Bapu. I'll tell him. Don't like the sound of that engine, Fair Boss. Oh, oh, gosh! You're losing oil. Oil? Oh, screw! Is everything all right, Josh? Thanks for the warning, Ravi. Well, we've saved the engine. Trouble is, Wilton Cashmore's not going to get his delivery on time. What are you going to do? Don't know. Yes, I do. I'll leg it. They are, Mr. Cashmore, smooth as a baby's body. Watch out, man! Just need the uh, paving stones, don't we? <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> did you see that? I did actually. I saw that as well. Oh. Before canal boats had engines, this was the only way you could get through a tunnel like this. Oh. Ah, the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh. Josh, look! Trojan, you couldn't have come at a better time, you old brute. <laughs> I am terribly sorry, Spanner. It's all right, Miss Peacock. <laughs> no paving stones, anyway. Hi, everybody! Look, it's Josh! Whatever made Trojan bolt like that in the first place? Oh, he could have been frightened by the snake. Snake? Yeah, a grass snake. I've got it here. Look. Hey, Hope, he's got a boa constructor. <laughs> you blithering idiot. But can't you see? He's got a... Actually, Spanner, I don't think Mr. Cashmore can see anything. <laughs>
It's all hands on deck down at the Lock Cottage today. <sighs> oh, no! Come on, look lively, Ravi. No time for daydreaming. Oh, not into the water. Go get a dustpan. Ah, uh, Captain. Sorry. It will be one of those days. Think I've finished, Mr. Carrier. Oh, but can you see your face in it? <laughs> yes, at least Ravi can. No, no, still a spot there. Ah. There, look. They let me have that. <laughs> Hello up there. It's Josh. Hey. Come on. Oh, uh, oh, hey, uh, Bapu. Oh. Volunteers. <laughs> What's all the excitement? Bapu's entered a competition. Found the best kept lock on the Clearwater Canal. Do you want to give us a hand? Well, I'd like to, Fiona, but you see... The winner gets the silver lock key. Oh. Well, I've got to deliver an engine down to the wharf, so I can't. Ah, must dust the life belt. Bapu is in a bit of a tizzy. He does so much want to win this trophy. Spanner had a little accident yesterday. He dropped Wilkie Cashmore's speedboat engine into the canal. What are you playing at now? Engine angler, Mr. Cashmore. Told you I could fish it out. You're wasting time. I've ordered a brand new one. And when it arrives, I want you to fit it immediately. I'm going to a very important function tonight. What's wrong with fixing this one? I bet it only needs a bit. <laughs> oh. <sighs> a clean. You blooming great. Ooh, ah, ooh. Sausage. Hey, everything okay down there? Oh, Josh, you come just in good time. You give me hand for move this tire onto trailer, huh? I can't, Joe. I've got to get this engine down to Cashmore. But I promise, admirable. I, I shift the old tire before George come for Inspectopath. Okay, Joe Lasky. Gotta be quick, though. Okie dokie. But first, I go up farm to get rope for pull blighter up with. But Joe, I... Only be a jiffy. Well, that's it, Fairport. Oh, blow it. I'll do it on my own. Otherwise... We could be here all morning. Fairport, I don't need your help. Fairport, shift. Judge comes, I think he'll say, Abandon ship! Oh, oh, Ravi, have you seen? Yes, Josh, over there. Oh, heck, Joe, that's done it. No, no, of 
course I won't be late for the dinner, Mr. Bigot. <laughs> the uh, Canal Preservation Society is dear to my heart. <laughs> As it happens, I shall be arriving in style. I've had a brand new engine fitted to my speedboat, and it's... Hello? Hello? Oh, blooming foreign engineering. Not so where bolts ought to be. <coughs> oh. Hiya, treasure! I brought you a little snack. Oh, Tasha. Yeah. Need that. What are you doing? I've decided to build you a motor cruiser. Oh, really? You mean like what film stars and them have? Yep. Just got oh. to do what we engineering experts call diagnostifying the mechanicals. Then I can start building the boat. Ready? Oh, hello. Ready? Ah! Oh. Well, there you go, Admiral. It's the best I can do for the moment. Um, what do you think? It will do, I suppose. Where's Mr. Lasky got to with the tractor? I don't know, Fiona. I'll just have to have another go at shifting the tyre myself. No, no, Josh, you go. You're late enough as it is. You've done your best. Can we go too, then? Yes, yes, yes. Everybody abandon ship. Well, good luck, Mr. Carrier. Oh, I am scuppered. Oh, 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 my foot. Oh. Come on, Ravi, look sharp. Sorry, Josh, I forgot you were in a hurry. You're dead right I'm in a hurry. We've got to get that engine to the wharf before Fiona's dad has a... Josh, what's the matter? Wilton's engine. It's been stolen. What are you going to say to Mr. Cashmore? Nothing much I can say, Ravi. Just have to face the music. Jones! Where the devil have you been, eh? I don't want your excuses. Just get my engine down to the wharf and unload it right now. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Cashmore. I'm afraid I can't do that. What? And why not? Well, uh, I don't know how you're going to take this, but... Um, the thing is, yes. Hey, George! My engine! If this is your idea of a joke, I'll have... Oh, no! Not joke, Mr. Cashmore. This Josh is good idea. See, he get held up back at lock, didn't <laughs> you, Josh? Well, uh, yes. So, he say, Joe, will you deliver a new engine on tractor for me? Because Mr. Cashmore want it very quick. So, here it is. Oh. I think you should give Josh a big thank you, Daddy. What? <clears throat> Jones, um... Uh, well, Jones, um... You don't have to thank me, Mr. Cashmore. Oh, thank you. You could let me use your portable phone instead. Hello, treasure! Oh! What do you think? Well, I thought it'd be a bit more luxurious. Oh, watch this. Oh, Mr. Carrier, you've won! I bet it was all that cleaning and polishing we did. Well done, Admirable. I think what most impressed the judge was my special garden feature. Oh, Papu, you're a genius. Oh, not me, Ravi. I just answered the telephone. Josh, it was you! <laughs> Some people live in the country Some people live in the city